What's up guys? I am excited to show you the tour of this very fast and unique trimaran. And like the last tour that I uploaded, this one is also up on Lake Michigan, so I had to get a little help from our friend up there who you might recognize. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one, so without further ado, here is the tour. What's up guys? We've got another really cool boat for you today. Again, this is not Jordan. This is Kirk from Sailing Solianas here to fill in. We are in the beautiful city of Chicago checking out a Chris White Explorer 44 Trimaran. Let's take a look. So I am standing on the port forward AMA. Starting way up in the bow, we've got a nine foot bowsprit Screecher on a furler, continuous. We've got 100% jib on another furler here, both head sails furling. Some really nice bow rail up there, bow pulpit. Rotating wing mast, stack pack, a real Mac pack, let's call it out, Mac pack from Mac Sails. So this is a trimaran with netting between the amas. There's that uh, rotation control down here. Controls the rotation of the mast. Let's go forward. We'll do a bow to stern tour here. A lot of spaghetti on this boat. A lot of lines everywhere. So we've got the continuous line furler on the bow sprit for the screecher. Harkin roller furler on the jib. Got a big anchor locker here. You can see a Manson Supreme electric vertical windlass. All lines running aft on this boat into the cockpit. So lots of line on deck. So here we are up in the bow, looking aft. We got lots of big opening hatches everywhere along the boat. Get good airflow inside, lots of natural light. You got your jib tracks on deck here on either side. Nice electrical penetration into the deck. That's always a tough spot. Huge Harkin blocks here for all the running rigging. Looking up, we got a single spreader rig, diamond rig. There you go with the Mac pack. Lots of natural light in the cabin. We got a Dodger and Bimini folded down. The wheel here folds in, which is a nice touch. Allows you to move through the cockpit. Here we are at the helm. You've got all your controls here. You've got an electric primary winch with controls, easily accessible. Great visibility anywhere from the cockpit. You're within one step reach of the wheel to the winches, to all the running rigging. We got newer B and G instruments here. Tons of storage underneath. Got a 
radar post. that there's even a step on top of the rudder which also acts as an anti-cavitation end plate for the rudder but they built it so that you could use that as the first step up the aft for getting out of the water so now we're standing on the aft end the stern end of the starboard ama we've got stainless standing rigging but they've got an adjustable tension system using dyneema here Tons of storage in the Amas down below. All right, we're standing in the cockpit here and we've got an aft cabin and the main cabin companionway forward. Let's check out the aft first. This is a huge aft bunk here, probably king size. Nice view out the stern. Big open hatch in the middle for airflow. Lots of natural light. Plenty of storage. Notice with mesh zippers instead of doors to keep weight down and everything nice and aired out and dry, prevent mold and mildew. It's a real nice touch. We'll go down into the main cabin here. Tons of natural light in this boat. Having the escape hatch here is kind of cool. You're able to see right into the water, just don't drop anything out. Super easy though to chuck your food scraps overboard. Plenty of storage. Got a foot pump for the fresh water. Big ol' chart plotter here that swings out into the cockpit, which is really nice. Comes back out of the way when you need to get down below. Full electric panel, radio, stereo. Got an ice box that has a refrigeration system in it here. This would also serve as a paper chart table if needed. We got storage below on both sides. And the center table here is also where the dagger board comes up. So nice double use of space. Storage down below the floorboards. So 
So I'm 6'3". I've got just enough room to stand here in the galley, which is a huge plus for me. Moving forward, we've got a wet head here, sink to starboard, and again, standing headroom for me, which is a plus, 6'3". This is kind of a neat feature, we've got a little sail track here, this door kind of pivots into position, which is kind of cool. And we've got a double, well, two singles forward, not a double V berth, but two singles. Tons of natural light in here from the hatch above, big storage, nice and comfortable. So the motor has this nice uh, casing around it so that there's room to store things on either side of the motor and not, not get in the way of anything that's moving, which is nice. But plenty of uh, space to access anything you need to do on the engine here. All right, we'll do a quick uh, bout of stern tour here. There you have it. This is a super cool boat. It's a little rough around the edges. It's been raced pretty hard for a lot of years and has actually capsized and been turtled and recovered. So it's uh, it's been put through the paces, but it still shows in pretty good condition. Um, a little, little bit of sprucing up here and there, I think this would be a really nice boat. There's incredibly comfortable cushions down below here. Really nice angle for seating. That's like, actually one of the things that is very important if you're uh, buying a cruising boat is being able to like lounge comfortably when you're not uh, not sailing being able to stand and have full standing headroom huge plus uh, for living aboard or, or cruising long term not to mention obviously all of the important sailing and safety gear but yeah this is I actually really like this layout it's it's quite nice and functional um, and it's very light and airy in here uh, having the escape hatch open like kind of adds a whole new dimension of being like on the water like the water's right there like I can look out and see the bottom and uh, I'm sure the little ones in uh, your life would have a blast dropping little bits of food to watch all the fishies come up um, and uh, have a snack
Alright guys, so I wanted to thank Kirk from Sailing Solianas for helping us out on this one as well. I'm going to put a link to his and Lauren's channel in the description below. I think you guys should check it out if you haven't already. Also, like most of the boats we tour, this one is for sale, so the current asking price is going to be in the description below as well as the listing information. So again, I wasn't physically there to see the boat, but I did work on, you know, all of this footage, so I got a good idea of the boat from that. I think it's an awesome boat. I mean, it is certainly unique. It's going to be a super fast trimer. And it's also going to be a pretty good cruising trimaran as well I mean when you get up into this size range of trimarans You definitely can bring more stuff along with you, you know to do some longer range cruising and the boat is still going to easily do Probably over 20 knots boat speed. This is definitely an extremely fast boat But I think the new owner is going to be really happy with this one I personally am a fan of pretty much every Chris White design. In the future, I'd love to be able to show you guys a tour of one of his catamarans as well. I really do like his boats. Anyway, I think Kirk said a lot of good things about this boat. I think the boat also speaks for itself in a lot of ways. It's a big and roomy boat for what it is, and that's a performance trimaran. Anyway guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I love